Welcome back to the City Aperture channel, my name is Jose. Uh, we're going to continue with our drawing of the Incredibles house. This is where we left off last week with our sketch. We're going to jump right into AutoCAD, so let's get right to that. Here you can see I start with laying out the garage based on the size of the cars, like how much space the cars need. So that's sort of what I'm using to sort of scale this part of the house. From there, we're gonna move on to the kitchen. The kitchen I size, you're gonna see me going back and forth between photos of the, or images from the kitchen. And I'm using the size of the cabinet. So I'm looking back and forth what kind of cabinets they have, and I'm using standard sizes for the cabinets. So, you know, a sink base is 36 inches, the dishwasher is 30, the range is, or the dishwasher can be 24, the range is 30. So that's how I'm sort of sizing the kitchen, and you see me laying out the cabinets and then putting the countertop on top. That's kind of how I size a lot of the house and I can be able to go off of those dimensions to size the house itself. You know, something I don't have dimensions for. Here I'm putting the opening between the dining kitchen area to the living room. I'm always going back and forth with the stills from the movie to get myself an idea. You know, I used to think that the front wall was uh, aligned all the way across, but I decided to make the stone part of the wall slightly thicker. Um, I think it just makes sense that those would be thicker. Here I'm laying out the bathroom to try and start scaling the bedroom area, which is going to be the hardest part to scale. A lot of these mid-century houses had very uh, sort of minimal bathrooms, so I went off of that idea, because again, we never see the bathrooms of the house. And this is where I'm starting to lay the parents' bedroom, I put a bed in there to try and give me an idea of how big it's going to be, door locations, you know, wall locations, and here I'm laying out the hallway for the, the hallway that goes to the other bedrooms. Again, we don't see the other bedrooms ever in the movie, so I'm just sort of guessing at how they would lay out, giving them three bedrooms, one for each kid, including the baby, that's the fireplace there. And you know, sort of cleaning up some of the edges, I'm going to start adding the windows in the rear of the house, and trying to go back and forth with the stills to, you know, lay out the, set, the right amount of mullions. Um, you'll see when I get into the kitchen, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm trying an alternate layout for the bathroom, but ultimately I don't like it. So, room divider goes in, and working more on the fireplace. I'm forgetting about the refrigerator here. I catch that later, but the refrigerator is sort of backing up into the fireplace. And, you know, just cleaning up some of the built-ins. Adding the second the second bathroom, the hall bathroom for the kids, also their closets. I decided that the divider wall needed to be thicker. And now I'm adding some windows based on the elevations. This is the window in the back of the garage area. Then now I'm looking at the window for the kitchen, and I had to um, I had to fix a couple of things in order to make sure that window looked right. So I had the window and the opening for the door. The garage door goes in, you know, again, cleaning up some more stuff, working out closets for everybody. And now I'm putting in some of the doors. I know it's moving fast, but uh, it was a fairly long process. I probably ended up spending about uh, an hour and a half drawing this house. And again, some of it's still figuring out there. I had the door for the, for the hallways and the kids' bathroom and for the office. I decided that the hallway into the kids' area doesn't have a door. I end up redoing, I just added the door to the to the other space that we don't know what it is, next to the parents' bedroom, but I ended up making it a bathroom and making the closet bigger. You'll see that in the final drawing. It's still adding some more doors. At this point, it's a lot of cleanup now. And uh, here very soon, we're going to move on to the uh, elevation. I'm going to do the front elevation just to have an idea of scale. I set the height of the clear story at six foot eight, or yeah, six foot eight, basically the height of a door. And uh, I figured the low end of the slope of the roof was going to start at eight feet and then slope up from there. I forget where I ended up making the entire slope. But here you can see the, the thickness of the roof is based on a two by ten roof. I didn't want to go much thicker than that. I think we would have looked at its scale. And again, adding the doors, some little details. Here we're going to get into the window soon after I finish the garage door. I'm going to use the roof that I just drew as well to pull over and sort of draw an, a, a dashed line for the, where the roof is on the floor plan. And that's what you just saw me draw there. And now I had forgotten about the windows in the front of the house. So I'm trying to size those and pull them into the elevation go back and forth as far as the proportions and orientation. But I add those windows in. 
as well as there's a, a recess bar into a wall. And now here I'm going to start adding the actual window model, again going back and forth to the elevations that we have from the movie. I'll try and match them as much as possible. Here it was fairly easy. It's when it goes to the other side of the house that um, there seems to be a little discrepancy between the interior shots and the exterior shots up from the movie. Uh, this was fairly straightforward, but you know, I ended up dividing them evenly. When you look at one of the shots, you see that the glass actually angles back and forth. Uh, it's kind of a cool detail that'll pop more when we do the 3D model. Um, but yeah, I yeah, had some details there, and I'm gonna go through and add some more detail sort of of not, you know, not showing it on the recording for both the plan and the elevations. And then I'll show you the finished CAD drawings, which is this right here. Here's the finished CAD drawing of the plan. I added furniture, I added texture to the floor. And here's the finished drawing of the elevation. Again, adding more textures and some callouts. Here's the printed plan. You can see the garage, you can see behind the garage I added the mechanical room and the laundry. Here you get a better look at the kitchen. And then the bedroom living area, put some furniture in there, some beds, a crib for the little boy. And the closet, I ended up making that bathroom, and here's the finished elevation. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to some sort of steady photos if you want to just look at the plan itself. Next part of it is we're going to model the house and take some rendering, so come back for that. If you like this design session, uh, please come back, you know, subscribe to the channel and uh, we're going to do some more of this. The next design session, kind of like this, that we're going to do is going to be our own house that we're going to design for a character. I already have something in mind. So, thanks so much again, guys. I'll see you next week. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.